Mary from Georgia here. Georgia the state. Georgia the state, not the country. So Mary, could you unmute yourself and ask your question? Yeah, at my jam the other night, folks were asked, talking about the one minute bow exercise where you keep the bow going continuously across the string for one minute. Have you heard of that? And is it useful to try? Good question. And um, I, uh, I had not heard of it until you asked your question. So thanks for asking. And I looked it up and basically the, the, the short answer is that doing long bows is very good for your playing. Even though in fiddle playing, a lot of, a lot of the fiddling can be done with short bows. Getting good at a long bow will make you a more versatile player and give you just more flexibility. And it'll really teach you about bowing. And so I actually looked up the one minute bow and, and what, it, what the idea is, is that you're, you're able to play, do one bow stroke and have it take a minute long. All right, which is very hard to do well. The, I, I looked up a few people trying it and it, it didn't sound that great, but I think the point of doing it is not to, not to like actually do it, but to be better aware of bow economics, how, how you use the bow and how to use the resource of the bow. So just like other economic things, you know, you want to balance and in, in best use those resources, like your like money or your time. And so what I've done for the for your question, Mary, is I've have another bow which I taped off very poorly <laughs> using finger tape into quarters. All right. So um, and and basically to get to the point of doing one bow in 60 seconds, there's a methodology you can take. But even if you don't get to 60 seconds, this is a very good way to improve your bowing. So what we're going to basically do is, is I, would, I would recommend starting by playing in each quarter of the bow and getting kind of comfortable with how it works in each quarter. So like, we're playing the, the low quarter, then in the next quarter, then in the next quarter, and then the next quarter. In each quarter, you could do the same thing, maybe a, a tune or a piece of a tune, you know, like. And then maybe do that on, on the top quarter. And then on the, this quarter, and then on the bottom quarter. So you, to, in order to do that really long bow, the one minute bow, start by getting really comfortable with each quarter of the bow all right, doing various things. And then when it comes time to doing it actually, you, would, you, could, you could start by doing multiples of four, four seconds or more. So basically you would start by doing one second for each quarter and, and use a timer. So I'm just running through how to do it now. I'm actually gonna pull up a timer and I'm gonna set it a stopwatch I'm just going to start the stopwatch roughly and try to, and, and I don't have it, I don't have a way to put it on the screen. Maybe we'll add that in, in the follow-up video for this. But basically, I'm starting, I'm starting now. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's, that's only doing four second bows versus 60 second bows. However, that's powerful because it's gonna really get you, wow, just to do it as evenly as possible. Hopefully that makes sense. So that alone is a great exercise. But now you, what you would do next is, is do a bigger increment of four since we have this divided into four. So you could do eight second bow. You could do one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then you would, you would do 12, 12 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then just continue 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14. It's getting harder. It's starting to be a little rocky in the sound. Let's go to like 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and so on. So eventually you try to do like when, when you get start getting into the realm of like 30 or 32, 40, it starts to not for me sound as good. So if I try to do 32 second bow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. But I think you get the idea. It's kind of a ridiculous thing, but it's kind of a cool practice thing to really gain awareness of the bow. All right. So do you have any follow-up questions, Mary? Well, the first time I tried it, I was like 23 seconds and down the whole bow. So I'm working on it to, but I think it will gain, give me more control. Did you try uh, sectioning off the bow? I, I haven't, I need to do that, but I haven't tried that yet. Cause you'll really learn like where you where you speed up and where you favor. Right. Yeah. Like I know that playing uh, near the, this is a little bit more difficult for mo most people, including me. It's a little harder to play down mm -hmm. here and get a good sound. And so one way to get better at longbows is to really focus on what's hard. You know, you may want to just practice here a little bit. It's difficult to kind of get the right balance because there's a lot more weight from your hand. Right. Yeah. Whereas the middle is kind of the sweet spot for most people. And then the tip usually needs a little bit of work because it's awkward. Your hand is really far out. And, and you have to add a little bit of more pressure because there's, there's, I don't know, I can't explain the physics of it, but it has to do with torque. There's less like force pressing down like naturally from your, the weight of your arm. And so you have to add a little bit. Yeah. So anyhow, hopefully that helps. Does anybody else have any questions on the one minute bow? Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.